Hey guys, it's Kat. Um, it is currently like 11 p.m. I'm doing sorry it's so late. I'm doing a late video because I finally uh, finished the gift I was crocheting for my niece, and her birthday party is tomorrow. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick couple minute video to show you her, the gift I made uh, before I give it to her. Um, so this is the ladybug pillow. Um, well, what you do is you crochet a red round and a black round, and then you crochet them together around an actual pillow. And the pillow was supposed to be a 10 inch diameter pillow, and I could not find a 10 inch one anywhere. I actually had a lot of trouble finding round pillows at all, and like the only round one I could find was this giant 14 inch. So I had to enlarge the body, and then I didn't feel like enlarging the rest of the pattern, so it has this ginormous body and then this like teeny head and teeny feet. So it looks like some like ridiculously obese ladybug. <laughs> but that's okay, I think it looks kind of cute. Um, so there are the legs and the head. Um, the eyes were a pain in the butt because it called for um, for you to use four ply yarn but then like rip it apart into two plies so each eye is made with like two plies of black blue and white and it made it really thin and difficult to work with and, the, and that was a pain in the butt and then the eyes are so tiny and you have to stuff them with fiber fill and it was just such a pain in the butt and it turned out pretty cute um not my best work i guess i could have made it a little nicer looking but i was in such a hurry and it was kind of difficult, but I think it turned out pretty good for the time constraints I was under. Um, although I don't know if I'm ever going to make this pattern again, but... So, yep, that's my ladybug. I hope she likes it. And my next project is going to be a plush mouse wearing a ballerina outfit um, from the same magazine. Um, I got the ladybug pattern from the... What month is this? April 2012 issue of Crochet World. Um, so that was what the ladybug was supposed to look like. Uh, I think mine turned out pretty okay considering the issues I had with it. And then so my next project is going to be this mouse for my other niece whose birthday is in July. And um, she does ballet. She's been doing ballet for years, so I figured she'd like that. So hopefully it's not as difficult <laughs> as the ladybug. Um, it's not going to be as big, so that might be helpful. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that, and I'll have another video up as soon as I get that mouse done. And I hope everybody has a good weekend, and happy crocheting!